this boss you need to do two phases. On the first phase you need to light the two kindlings at the top left and right corner of the platform using the dungeon ability Burning Ember. Both kindlings are protected by a root wall which needs to be destroyed. The boss will frequently let boulders rain down across the platform. These are not super deadly but can overlap with other abilities. After destroying the root wall, you can throw the ember close to the kindling to begin lighting it up. There will be another slightly bigger telegraph that looks exactly like the boulders. This one is much more deadly and will make a titan spawn ad appear. The boss will use these cascading big slams left and right or right and left that will cover almost the entire platform. You should always try to be in the middle of the arena when not putting down the burning ember so you can dodge this ability. There is another way to deal with this as well which is more dangerous but easier to do if you can survive all other mechanics easily. At the very edge of the arena, right below the kindlings, there is also a safe zone. When the first kindling is lit up, the boss will summon three stationary adds around you that will do some telegraphed slams. Recall your burning ember, deal with all the adds that are alive and then move on to the remaining kindling. After destroying the root wall, place down your ember and try to move into the middle of the platform again to be ready for the next big slam attack. The boss will create a shockwave traveling across the platform. You need to run away from it to the opposite side of the platform where the shockwave will disappear. Sometimes this boss can get really hectic and you should try to spare your movement skills for the big slam attack because these are guaranteed one shots even with very tanky builds. When the second kindling lights up you can enter the second phase of the fight by entering the mountain. The boss will spawn these little destroyable mines that will do some telegraphs if they survive long enough. They are not super deadly but can easily dealt with if you have proper AoE. This green laser is the most important and lethal ability of phase 2. It will shoot out two lasers towards both sides and will always leave a safe zone on the opposite side of the boss. Be careful to not be too close to the boss even in the safe zone. Do not touch the hitbox of the laser on the last bit before it disappears. The boss will always do this big room AoE when you distance yourself too much from the boss. When this happens try to get closer to the boss again to be in the safe zone. The boss will frequently summon these adds, they are not very deadly but can body block you and make it way harder to avoid the other mechanics. This big cone attack is moderately lethal and will apply stacks of poison on you. You should try to avoid it but if you get hit by it, like I did in this gameplay example, you can use the belt cleanse on potion use prefix or any other method of cleansing. The boss will regularly summon the spiraling boulder that deals moderate damage. It's very hard to not get hit at all, but just try to avoid getting hit multiple times. The boss will shoot out these projectiles that apply armor shred and deal moderate damage. Just try to move a little bit and you will be able to avoid most of these. 